It's absurd. This is my first festival I've ever attended and or played at properly. And so it's like, it's very cool. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just like this, there's this sense of just like, like urgency within that music, I feel like. And I, and I know now, like, you know, having, you know, gone through a, a ridiculous amount of different catalogs and artists and all that, um, that there's like a, a genuine heart in all the music that is coming out today, but there's just something really magical and special about, you know, just this longing for love, like in a time like so long ago that's still relevant to now. And I just think like, I don't know, it just sets up such a beautiful picture, that music uh, of like love and romance in a way that I feel kind of falls short nowadays. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just one of those things you, you just feel like you, you wanna, be romantic while listening to that music, you know, like it's the only time I really feel like um, urgent to like um, tell the person that I love that I love them, you know, and, I, and I'm, yeah, yeah, there's just an urgency that it like kind of evokes out of you to really express how you feel towards someone, you know. I wish that, you know, my, my parents and I had a close relationship um, that, that would just make sense for me to pursue. I think like, it's just one of those things where, you know, like, I think that music honestly helped me to kind of figure out like what I wanted re my relationships to look like on a personal note, you know. Um, I think like, yeah, it's it's a it's a wild thing to grow up in like a family situation where love was kind of a very shallow, like painful thing that was just hard to be around, you know, and grow up in, and uh, and then to kind of you know flip the switch and like write about love songs that like I guess are are being the I guess with the soundtrack now to people's love stories, you know? I honestly just got out of a breakup with the person that I wrote it for, and the song just came out like a month prior, or not even that, like a few weeks prior, and, uh, and it wasn't, you know, moving in a crazy way at all, and then, you know, I started just posting about it as much as possible, like making TikToks and comedic stuff, just like advertising, like, it's like really what that app is great for, you know, for artists, it's just like really advertising your music. And, uh, and yeah, and then it like just was a slow burn. It was a really slow burn until it like, you know, freaking exploded. Um, and like I was saying, I got that call and they were like, hey, like your song is trending. Like on TikTok, it's like a sound, it's becoming a thing. And it, it developed into several different trends. Like it went from being, you know, oh, I'm taking pictures of my best friend and like they're in love and they used the sound for that, and then it was, you know, the Doctor Strange movie, and then it was just like, you know, soundtracking, you know, visuals for, you know, people's romantic escapades, you know. Just a bunch of different things just were happening, and, and then all these different sounds were made, like there's a slow version now, and like a super fast one, and those have blown up to like almost 300,000 videos, you know, and, and then putting all this together, that's almost like a million videos using that song, which is just like absurd. It's actually kind of all over the place, yeah. to be completely honest. Yeah, I'm like, I'm a little worried about it, to be fair, because it feels like the EP was very much like a weird project to have worked on because, I mean, before a label even touched me or ever talked to me or anything, like, those songs were written two years before, like, with emotions that were, f like, over with and done, you know, from forever ago, and then, you know, getting signed and, you know, recording those songs, you know, it was definitely a, a difficult situation to kind of, like, conjure up, you know, and, uh, but with these, it feels like these are fresh songs that have just been written, like, over the last month or so, and, like, we just, you know, they just feel right, and they feel fresh and good, and, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that just, like, feels very scary because they're very fresh emotions about very new people and, like, you know, I don't know, like I'm still very much in it. And so, yeah, it definitely feels, I feel very exposed with this. And it also feels like it's, it's all very happy, like, which is a weird thing oh, for me. Like it's very happy, like it's, it's sentimental, but like very joyful over love. And that feels really good too. But it's like, it is a, there are two different parallels with that. It is, it is saying, you know, very, on a very personal note, like 
this person is easy on my eyes, you know. And then on the other side of that, it's just kind of a, almost a prayer and ask from whatever's out there, universal God, whatever, you know, just begging to have life take it easy on my eyes, you know, and not show me all these good things so that I don't get hurt by them.